Swapping switches on your wooden keyboard might seem intimidating at first, but don't worry, I'm here to guide you through the process step by step. My name is Sander and I'll make sure you will have a smooth experience. First, let's go over the items that you will need. The first one is a Phillips screwdriver with a PH1 tip. The second one is a switch puller. Any switch puller should work. If you don't have one, you can find a toolkit on our website to purchase. And the third option is a keycap puller. And this is optional because it just makes removing keycaps just a whole lot easier. But hey, if you want to wreck your hands, that's all fine too. And for this tutorial, we have two methods you can actually follow. So the first one is the fill on until it's gone method. This is mostly focused if you decide to swap a lot of switches or maybe even the entire keyboard. This requires you to screw out the entire module and it takes a bit of time, but it makes sure you can remove the switches more easily without damaging them. And the second method is for quick swapping. This is mostly used if you need to change a few switches and don't feel like screwing out your entire module. Be careful though, this method can damage your switches more easily if not done properly. So I recommend to use this method mostly if maybe like one or two switches are broken inside your keyboard and you don't care about the switches anyway. So let's start off with the first method, the fill on until it's gone method. So step one, remove the following keycaps to access the five white screws underneath. If you're changing all the switches, remove all of your keycaps already in advance. Step two, unscrew all the five white screws and lift the front side of the module to pull it out of the case. If it's not budging, double check that you removed all the screws. Step three, Flip the module, you will find 8 additional silver screws on the back. Unscrew all of these. One thing to note, if you purchase the 60HE module, you do not need to remove the screws of the screw in stabilizers. Step 4. Pull the PCB from the plate with gentle force. Make sure all screws are removed before doing this. Step 5. Leica switches have clips on the front and the back. Grab your switch puller and carefully push the claws of the switch puller against the clips of the switch. Now you can wiggle the switch out and repeat the step for all the other switches. Step 6. Grab the new switches you want to install. Ensure that the LED window aligns with the north side on the PCB. If you prefer, you can actually insert the switch with the window facing south, but the RGB lightning won't be as vibrant. The south facing orientation is mostly used if you have any interference with your keycaps. But please avoid east and west orientation to prevent damage to the switch, because this simply will not work. Step 7. Insert the switches into the plate. Make sure you hear a click or snap indicating they are seated properly. Step 8. Place the foam back onto the plate if it actually came loose during the disassembly. Align it correctly with the standoffs and holes of the plate. Step 9. Align the PCB with the plate and push them together. There should be no need for excessive force. Step 10. Screw the PCB and plate together with the 8 silver screws that you have to screw in on the back of the PCB. Step 11. Insert the module back into the case and use the 5 white screws to secure it. And step 12. Finally put your keycaps back on and you are all set. Woo! And now let's go to the quicker method of swapping a few switches. I highly recommend you to only use this method if your lack of switches are faulty, as this method has a higher risk of damaging your clips on your switch if not done properly. Step 1. Remove the keycaps of the switches you want to swap out. Step 2. Leica switches have clips on the front and the back. Grab your switch puller and carefully push the claws of the switch puller against the clips of the switch. Then make a lever motion to pull the switches out from the back. Keep in mind that the LED window on the front doesn't have a lot to give. That's why I recommend pulling it out from the back side. Step 3. Insert the new switches, ensuring that the LED window aligns with the north side on the PCB. Again, you can choose to align it south if you prefer. The south facing orientation is mostly used if you have any interference with your keycaps. Avoid east and west orientations, these will damage the switch. Push the switches into the plate and check if they are seated with a click or snap sound. 
Step 5. Put the keycaps back onto the switches and you are done. And this is pretty much it for the swapping switches tutorial. Of course, if you guys have any questions, let us know in the comments below. And we'll check you guys in the next one. Goodbye.